Welcome to the Real Andy of Beverly Hills Show. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the Real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of uh, the day on this beautiful and amazing Friday. The weekend is finally here and I know every single one of you is ready to celebrate and have the time of your life. Girl, we are about to go down into the Kanye West like whirlwind, honestly. There is a lot because apparently he hired a, a private investigator to investigate uh, the Kardashians her, his own wife, like the thing is wild and we kind of like need to talk about it. But before we start, welcome, welcome back. If you are new to the Beverly Troop, well, welcome over here. We spill all the tea every single day, no matter where I am and no matter what I'm doing, I always give you all the tea and I mention it all. So if you want to know what is happening inside of the pop culture street, in the Bravoverse and more, well, you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell. And before we start, we need to give a shout out to our partners of this video and other people from this loyalty. This loyalty is a membership subscription that I have been using for a very long time. Um, if you have been following me on my other YouTube channel, Destination and This World, you know that I love to travel around the world and find amazing deals and discounts in hotels and all of that. And, you know, I have been really using them for a while, but we are finally partnering up, okay? So if you want to check it out, go to the link in the description below and don't forget to use my code MAMALA09 and you will get the first month for free so you can actually check it out. All right, guys, let's talk about this uh, mess. Okay, you you thought that Kanye West will not be getting any crazier. Well, you thought bad, okay? Bad, bad, wrong. Girl, Latino moment. Anyways, you, you were wrong, you know, because this guy, honestly, the things that he does, like, blows my mind. And now there is this guy who is suing him, okay, for other things. And apparently, he hired him to investigate the Kardashians because Kanye was, like, sure that the Kardashians were part of a, like, sex trafficking ring, basically kind of like being a, a Diddy situation. He also asked him to investigate his uh, wife, Bianca Sensori. Like, the whole thing, honestly, is, like, wild. But you know what? I feel that when it comes to Kanye West, Nothing really surprised me, you know, like when I hear these kind of things, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. That's so Kanye, you know, it's just like one of those, like he's already crazy enough. Like, you know that, that it is very, very possible. So let me read you some stuff over here. Um, apparently, uh, there is this man, and he's going by John Doe, okay, and he's suing for emotional distress retaliation and violations of California labor codes, okay? He says that Kanye hired him on December of 2022 during the presidential campaign he's since abandoned. First, though, was to be campaign manager, but then his role evolved into director of intelligence, okay? Um, what... That really meant in the 22-page lawsuit obtained by Rolling Stone uh, is that John Doe was tasked with being Kanye's fixer. That meant getting ahead on bad press, handling NDAs, and investigating everyone around him. That includes his own wife, Bianca Sensori. It says, a particularly notable task by Kanye was to have Doe hire private investigators to follow and tell his wife, Bianca Sensori, when she was traveling alone to visit family in Australia without Miss Sensori knowledge. 
but it gets weirder because according to TMC, Kanye had also this guy go and investigate his former in-laws, also Kim Kardashian and her whole family. John Doe says he was told to follow up on the famous families to post various criminal links. His boss believed the Kardashian had participating in sex trafficking. Kanye really thought they were going full Didi with this. Far from backing his former employer's theories, John Doe contends Kanye was getting, getting overly paranoid and thinks it's because of his drug use, specifically his increased use of nitrous oxide. Uh, his attorney, Ronald Sambrano, told Rolling Stones, my client believes there is a direct correlation between the nitrous oxide and the increase in paranoia and siege mentality that ended up happening in that time frame. There were internal concerns about the amount of nitrous oxide that was being delivered to his house. This isn't the first time we heard the nitrous claims. Kanye's former campaign chief of staff, Milo Yiannopoulos, said publicly back in August that he had a problem with the drug. John Doe believed it caused a sudden uptick in Kanye's erratic behavior. Back in May, he says, things started getting strange, like when, the, when Kanye spent nearly a million bucks on titanium teeth like Joss from James Bond. He also fired a lot of his senior staff at that time. John Doe's own par parting came after he got a call about Donta Academy. If you have followed that whole legal battle, it won't surprise you to hear that he was told there were safety concerns for students. John Doe says he passed the concerns up the ladder and almost immediately Kanye called John Doe to jail, course, and threatened John Doe with great bodily injury, including death, if John Doe repeated what John Doe learned from the Donda employee. Not only that, Kanye allegedly told John Doe he was effing death to him and put on a recording of scary voices that were threatening to harm the employee. After that, John Doe claims Kanye's enforcers threatened him too. Wow. Um, John Doe is now claiming all of these threats trigger his PTSD from his military days. John Doe experienced panic attacks, anxiety, and severe, severe emotional distress, which caused him to seek medical treatment and was placed in a facility to address his declining mental health. The plaintiff is seeking the money he says Kanye never paid him, as well as damages for the distress he suffered. Girl, what a roller coaster. I'm telling you, I don't know at what point People are going to realize that Kanye needs help. He needs someone like right there with him because all of these allegations are not only insane, but it really shows his mental state. And to be very honest with you, Kanye can do whatever he wants to do. It's his own life. Like, I don't know, whatever, right? I'm, I'm so worried about the kids. The kids, you know? I don't know, like Kim Kardashian is going to have to work hard for her money. I don't even know how she let herself be pregnant with Kanye, with Kanye like four times. I just don't get it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to this pop culture street, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.